Hi everyone, this is Paul Lang from Discipline Trading Strategies with this week's Trade of the Week video. This is for the week ending 7-12 of 2020 and the stock was FDX. This happened on Wednesday the 8th. The strategy was based on a gap carry. That means a stock that had gapped on a prior day but was saved because oftentimes there are interesting plays or concepts that can be used after the day of the gap. Entry based on a 60-minute major resistance DTS sell setup. Management simple, reward risk about 2.1 to 1. As usual, before we get to this exact trade, I'd like to remind you of the free stuff going on this week at DTS. There's a lot of free stuff this week, busy week. Monday night is the bi-weekly scanning night. You will get your invite to that if you're a DTS member. Wednesday, I am guest speaking at Traders Exclusive. You need to register for that event separately, whether you're a DTS member or not, because it's not being hosted by DTS. You will get an email about registering for that. So please do if you are interested. And even if you're unsure, please register because there likely will not be a recording or a posting onto the DTS website, or at least I can't ensure there will be because it's out of my control. Then Friday, we begin the next leg of the seminar cycle with everyone being invited to the first half day course, Introduction to Mastering Technical Analysis. Here are the dates. There's a 50-50 chance all those dates and times are correct. You can always check the calendar on the DTS website. Just go to the home page and click on the calendar to verify all of those times and dates. This is the daily chart of FTX, and this is what it looked like before the day of the trade. It was on the gap carry list because of this gap. After the day of the trade, it looked like that. And you're probably saying, Paul, that's not much of a move. That's why I love this trade, because this made more than the day and it was on kind of a nothing move. It involves perfect entries and it had the concept to be a home run that would have made the whole week's goal. This is the hourly chart to show you the concept that happened here going into this day. It came back to retest those two prior highs and after that large gap up, those hourly sell setups typically work. It continued to make some lower lows, so we retested that high. And then going into the next day, I just want to follow through on that 60 minute chart. Oftentimes, the opening half hour gets its little reversal so you can see that little topping tail in there is what was used to get short right off the top and then take it down to the bottom of that range. Note that this easily could have gone down to retest the prior low or even make a new low. So even though this was a fairly nice profitable trade, it did so on a very minimal move. And that's what I really emphasize in my trading is to make money from a typical day's move, not to be searching for the stock that creates 10 times the average move because they're very hard to find and very hard to play. Make your money from the normal things that normal stocks do. This is a 15 minute chart giving you a little better view. And there is where it opened on the day that we're talking about. That is the 60 minute resistance area that you saw on the prior chart. And then as typically happens at 10 o'clock reversal time, we get a little counter move up into there. And it went short, just right off the high end. There was a pretty good entry, not the best in the world, but pretty good. Uh, entry at 158.99, stop at 159.61. And the trade begins. I took a fairly quick first third because it dropped really quick and approached the low of the day. A little cheap first third. Second third, really pretty good target as we dropped down to there. And the third third, the unquestionable goal was to hold it to the end of the day and hoping we would get down in here. So I didn't take anything down in here. And then once we're down here, I set the stop to here because I knew it wouldn't go lower if we went above that. And that's where it trailed out. So the third target, a little less than the second target. Nevertheless, nice profit from a very small move, relatively speaking. And what I always look at is it had big potential. So it did about as poorly as it could do and still made a lot of money. That involves having a great entry and recognizing playing stocks to make their normal move, not to make the once in a lifetime move. Here's a five minute chart, just gives you a little bit more detail. You can see the entry there just under 159, which is really a pretty good entry on that five minute chart. And then the target one right there, Target two at the end of that wide range bar, approaching the low of the day, very smart target, and then the trail out over there for target three. If you like this style of trading, come join us in the DTS trading room. You can sign up for a month. It doesn't cost too much, and you can also take a one-week trial if you'd like to, if you've not done so already. Until next time, this is Paul for DTS. Good trading, everybody.